Right, so we are right here in one of the largest condo development in Aukang area as well as one of the closest proximity towards the Aukang MRT station and we are in this project called Riverfront Residences and if you are looking for a 2 bed, 2 bath that is standing at a size of 721 square feet that is just priced slightly over a million dollars then join us as we bring you along this virtual home tour right here now, Riverfront Residences is located right along Aukang Avenue 7 which then links us towards Upper Serangoon Road and we are just two stops away from Aukang MRT Station and that also means that we are situated at one of the closest plots. So, Aukang MRT Station is going to be one of the interchange for the Cross Island Line that is slated to open between 2029 to 2030 and uh, once the entire Cross Island Line is open, that will bring us three stops towards Amokyo as well as three stops towards Pasir Ris MRT station. Now, Riverfront Residences is sitting on the previous side of the HUDC. The entire HUDC plot are being acquired by a joint venture between Oxley, Lim Bing, KSH as well as Apricot Capital. Now, the joint venture are able to take on a massive land plot to redevelop the entire land site that spans over 36,811 square meters and there are a total of 1,472 units spread across one bader all the way until five baders. The land plot is currently the largest followed by Florence Residences which is standing at 36,161 square meters and next in line we have Affinity at Serangoon which is about 27,000 square meters and lastly Garden Residences which is about half the size of Riverfront which is coming in at the size of about 17 over 1,000 square meters. It is natural for us to see developments that are of certain age surrounding the entire landscape of Aukang. If you take a look at the entire map itself, you also notice that there are a lot of residential projects that are of HDB in nature and most of the HDB flats, they are currently standing at the age of about 20 over years to 30 over years. And one of the early day projects will definitely be Florida, Rio Vista as well as Evergreen Park. And they are currently having a balance of 70 plus to 80 years. And as we progress towards the early 2010, we have projects that start to take shape such as Heron Bay, Boat House Residences, Kingsford Water Bay, River Sale, River Sound, as well as Osview. So shortly after all these developments start to take shape, you also realize that there are not many plots of lands that are available for condo developments. And for condo developments of this massive size to take shape, uh, the only way that you can get this kind of plot of land is only through an on-block process which is currently the case for riverfront residences. And given the full occupancy of all the projects that actually form out along the entire riverfront, uh, that also speaks volume about the kind of demand that we are looking right here at riverfront residences. Now the reason why we are doing this virtual home tour right here in our studio is also because this is actually going to be marketed as one of the sub sale units. And what do we mean by sub sale unit is that when this building is still under construction, the very first owner decides to put it up for sale for the next buyer when you purchase this you will still be able to get to enjoy the one year free liability defects warranty by the developer and when the sale and purchase actually take place you will actually be getting the fresh sale and purchase agreement direct from the developer so if you are looking for something that is having a shorter runway and you want to enjoy the free one year liability from the developer while still getting a choice unit that is still within the affordable range then this sub sale unit might be the one that you should consider. Now for this 2 bed 2 bath configuration, we are at a mid floor right here on stack number 16 and if you have to pull out a side map, you also notice that we are actually overlooking large greeneries. Now this layout is considered to be a very straight cut 2 bedder layout but the moment you enter the door, you will be fronting towards your balcony. Again from the side map, there is actually a very good distance away from the neighboring blocks but if let's say you want to have your privacy, you still can definitely install your balcony screen of course subject to MCSC approval or you can easily install your zip track. Now earlier we mentioned that this particular configuration is the one with a slightly smaller kitchen that is not enclosed. Again, if let's say you want to increase your entire countertop space, you want to increase your storage space, you can easily extend the countertop right from the end and that will actually kind of create a peninsula where you can have storages right underneath as well as serving as your dining table. If you would like, once you enclose the entire balcony up, you will then be able to position your dining table right at the balcony and that will actually free up your entire living hall. So once you do that, you can extend carpentry right from the kitchen all the way towards the balcony and that's going to increase your storage space. So that is one option that you can adopt. Now the second option is you can easily create an island that is right smack in the middle of the kitchen itself and once you do that, that will actually be one of the centerpiece in your dining as well as your living area where you can host parties, increase your countertop space, increase your storage space. Now for 2 big 2 we think that the entire living hall area is considered to be very generous in size 
The entire wave itself, according to the floor plan, is at about 2.5 meters. That will definitely give you a bit of allowance if in the event that you want to get in some furniture. As we move towards the very first common bedroom, you also see that the wardrobe has been provided for by developer and the bedroom you can at least cater in for a queen size. And right over at the master bedroom, similarly for the wardrobe that has also been provided for, we believe that you can easily fit in a king size that is considered generous for a two bed, two bath configuration. Now lastly, we think that the entire bathroom, you basically do not need to do anything appliances, sanitary fittings have all been provided. So we estimate the entire renovation cost if you are to do up additional carpentries somewhere between $8,000 maximum until $10,000 if you are to kind of do a bit more extensive renovation. But otherwise, conservatively, we believe you can achieve a renovation cost of somewhere between six dollars to $8,000. Now, if you're kind of considering, hey, should I go for a two-bed, one-bath or should you then go for a two-bed, two-bath? And we're gonna break it down so that it gives you a little bit of clarity. Now currently right now available direct from developer, you still have a two bed, one bath configuration. Now that is on the top floor. And for the top floor configuration, you have the additional airspace of about 86 square feet. And what this airspace means is that you do then get this kind of luxurious volume that is just right above your entire living hall. And this will actually form part of your entire floor area. And that the current asking price is currently going at 1.052. But on the other hand, for our unit, that is standing at 721 square feet without any airspace of course the asking price is at 1.08 million dollars so if the price difference of about $28,000 we can leave it up to you for you to decide whether do you want to save the $28,000 in exchange for a 2 bed 1 bath configuration but of course it comes with a higher ceiling height at the living hall area or do you want to then pay additional $28,000 in exchange for an additional bathroom but of course if you are to break it down into granular form just on the down payment itself you just need to pay an additional $7,000 while the remaining amount is then spread across the entire loan. In our opinion, we think that this is definitely worth it because your guests can then use the additional bathroom and uh, it also gives you the flexibility in the event that you want to rent out this two bed, two bath because naturally the two bed, two bath will then be able to cater to a wider group of tenants. Uh, but if let's say you are looking within the vicinity and you are comparing between some of the newer launches project that are available in today's market, we're gonna break it down just to give you a little bit more clarity. Now for garden residences for two bed, one bath, the average transacted price is already approaching at about $1 million and uh, currently the sub sale is going at about 1.12 million. For garden residences, they do not have a two bed, two bath configuration. The only type of configuration that they have is a two bed plus study with a two bath configuration. Even with a two bed plus study configuration, the entire square footage is still considerably smaller than our type of layouts that is standing at 721 square feet. Now for Affinity at Serangoon, for a two bed, one bath, average transacted price is already at about 1 million to 1.02 million dollars. For two bed, two bath configuration, the average transacted price price is between 1.07 to 1.25 million dollars we have to take a look at the nearby competition which is at Florence residences now for Florence residences for a two bed one bath they are averaging at about nine hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars if you have to take a look at two bed two bath configuration the transacted price is between 1 million to 1.32 million dollars as of today what we are seeing is that there are no available two bed two bath right there as affinity as well as Florence residences but if you to take a look at the benchmark pricing when we are to put our units at 1.08 million dollars for 731 square feet for a two bed two bath configuration that is definitely still placing us well below the average transacted price and we believe that at 1.08 it is still a safe pricing to enter on especially when there are still master plan development that's going to evolve around Aukang we're going to touch a little bit more shortly after this now I think after we have seen the entire landscape, it is safe to say that price disparity between a 2 bed 1 buff as well as a 2 bed 2 buff is averaging at about $100,000. And so we're going to take a closer look in terms of uh, how this is going to impact you if you want to rent out a 2 bed 1 buff versus that of a 2 bed 2 buff. Now within the vicinity, we can take a look at the nearby surrounding project and one such example is Boathouse Residences. And both house residences, you have a two bed, one bath that is tenanted at an average price of about $2,100. As well as for a two bed, two bath, the average tenancy rate is at about $2,700. So with a price difference of about $600, that's going to translate to about 28% of a price difference in terms of the tenancy rate. If you have to take a look at the quantum wise, the price quantum difference is at about 10%. So 
So if you have to take a look collectively, while the entire quantum goes up by about 10% for a two bed, two bath, your rental is going to go up by additional 28%. So we believe that while you are paying additional 10% in terms of quantum, that translates very well in terms of the rental, where you do then get an additional 28% overall in terms of your rental. Now of course, in the event that it does reach its TOP towards the end of 2024, you will have a three to three and a half years of runway and what that means is that while you are paying a progressive payment because it is a new launch project, your mortgage is yet to be at its maximum. And once you reach its three years mark, just so happen that when it approaches its TOP, you are also approaching towards the end of the seller's stamp duty. And that is probably the time that if let's say you have a change of plan, you can resell to the open market. Typically, when we see a project that is reaching its TOP period, there will be a flurry of activities where there will be owners that want to exit probably because they have a change of plans or probably they purchase this as an investment property. And probably three years down the road, there will still be buyers that want to look into projects that are reaching its TOP and they want to probably buy into a new project and want to move in immediately. And you will also have a pool of buyers ready in three years time. Of course, in the event that you want to rent it out, if you just take a look at the entire master plan, just right across the river, the entire forested area is going to be zoned as business too. And what that means is that there will be light industrial factories that will actually happen right around the, that area and they will easily form up your tenant's pool. But of course, if you have to expand the entire area, you will also notice that this is actually part of the Pile Leba Air Base Redevelopment Zoning. And once the entire Pile Leba Air Base relocate, this is going to bring about enhanced connectivity between the eastern region as well as the northeastern region. And the entire redevelopment size is at about five times the size of Topayo, where there's going to be a mixture of commercial hub and that will definitely increase the entire vibrancy as well as job opportunities. This is definitely where your large pool of tenants will be coming from. One of the anchor points is that we are within one can to a few good schools such as the CHIJ Lady of Nativity as well as Holy Innocence Primary School. So I think with all these factors where you have tenants pool, you have the master plan involvement, you have the HDB upgraders or even the landed homeowners that want to move into the units as well as the good schools being the anchoring point right here. We think that this is definitely one of the projects that you can consider if you are still looking for something that is new, you want to enter at a price point that is still well below the new launch pricing that are available in today's market. Now, last but not least, one interesting fact about this project is that it comes with six retail shops and this is definitely going to be a huge attraction point. Now, because this is such a sprawling plot of land for condo developments, there are hundreds over facilities. Some of the interesting facilities that comes along with this development, such as playground, rock climbing, even flying fox and various adventure playgrounds. So I think if you are family or if you intend to grow your family right here, this is definitely one of the most exciting places that your kids can enjoy. And it even comes with KTV and movie room if in the event that you want to host your friends when they come over and visit you. You have multiple swimming pool. You even have a 75 meters river pool, tennis court, multi-purpose court, basketball court. You have a robot that covers the entire perimeter of the development. And once again, if you are interested to find out more, do get in touch with our listing team. We'll be happy to show you more details about this exciting project, especially for a two bed, two bath that is just coming in at slightly over a million dollars. Thank you for staying tuned with us. Do click a like, subscribe to our channel. My name is George Payne from Problem Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Does it make sense? Actually, your last sentence summarized like everything. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> no, but I need, to, I need to explain a bit. Ma. No, you see, uh, the thing is, oh, my default face right, is just very fierce. See, I suck at doing interior. Let's see the talk numbers I can talk. Uh, talk interior.